So today, we're going to focus on numbers in Spanish. What I want to look at are really large numbers in Spanish. Then we're going to start with numbers that are greater than a thousand. I'm hoping we can get up to numbers like 52,000. Maybe we'll get up to a million. School isn't like a million. But I guess if a million is good, why can't we get to 52 million? And so there are basically pretty easy to use as long as you can say any three-digit number like 572 if you know how to write that in Spanish you can write any of these numbers easily a thousand or meal there are three things that we need to keep in mind number one meal is never plural so if we have 1,000 2,000 3,000 it will always be meal to say 1,000, we never use un. So 1,000 is simply meal. And the third thing, when we have numbers that are greater than 999, we use a period instead of a comma. For example, in English, we might say, I have 1,764. But in Spanish, we would say, I have 1,764. So in Spanish, we use the period. In English, we use the comma. The fourth thing, I said there were three, but I guess there were four. We don't use and directly after meal. Well, let's look at an example. So specifically, how would I say 1,764? Well, I start with 1,000. Meal. And then I have to say 764. Well, what is 700? Sixty-four, and there we go. We have our number, 1,764. All right, well, let's try 52,591. Oh, wow, so that's a pretty big number. Well, how do we say 52,000? We're just going to divide and conquer. And we would have 52. So you know how to say 52. And then what do you need? You need 52,000. Well, that's that first part. And then how do we say 591? Now, I know a lot of people freak out when we get big numbers like this. But look, all you have to know is each individual number. That's what we had right there. And then for the second part, you just had to know how to say 591. So when you're working with meal, we remember that we have a few things that we can and cannot do. The final thing we should look at are dates. All right, so a lot of times in English, and we, we might say something like, well, in 1945, right? So we would say 1945. In English, that's an okay thing to do, right? But in Spanish, that's a big no-no. In Spanish, you can't say 1945 to refer to a year, right? So in Spanish, we have to say mil novecientos cuarenta y cinco, and that makes us happy. So you can't take the shortcuts in Spanish. Sorry about that. All right, so when we get up to a million, we're going to say un millón. 
dos millones, tres millones. So you'll notice when we just had one million, we have this word. But when we have more than a million, like maybe you have more than a million dollars, if you do, I could use a Mini Cooper. I'd really like one of those. We have a different word that we use for that. The final thing that we need to know is that we have to use the preposition day before nouns that directly follow W that directly follow Mion or Mionis. So if we wanted to say, oh, I want a million dollars, I want one million, and then I need to say dollars because dollars comes right after our number we have to put in day. But if I said I wanted one million one dollars un million let's say a million two hundred dollars. I mean I don't want to be greedy or anything. Then we don't need the day. Right, because it will, we only need the day when it's right after million, not when it comes later. I don't know, I guess that's my favorite big number today. That might seem a little daunting to have to say in Spanish, but do you know how to say this number? Do you know how to say this number? And do you know how to say that number? All right, well, let's start right here. How do you say nine? Nueve. And then we're in the millions column, so let's just add million. All right, how do you say 192? And then we're in the thousands category. And now, do you know how to say 631? All we have to do is divide and conquer. So as long as you know your numbers, 100, 200, 300, 400, you're going to be just fine. All right, go out and have some fun. Let me know how it goes. Suerte.